Number five of my most favorite motorcycle vloggers of 2022. This one was about a group of five channels and riders that sometimes hang out with each other or show up in each other's videos or live streams and who I'd like to hang out with for a day. You can see the link to the channels in my comments section. Links to previous most favorite one through four can be seen on my on my channel link also in the comments section. The purpose of these videos is to recognize motorcycle vloggers I like to watch and listen to and hopefully you will too. Please feel free to comment on your favorite channel in the comments section. There will be a link to the channel or channels mentioned pinned in the comments section. I would encourage you to visit these channels, like and subscribe if you like them too. Maybe I have a, a natural affinity or interest for these riders and channels because my family came from that area of England and these where these motorcycle vloggers live and ride. My family name can be traced back to this region in 1250. My family linked, uh, left England and arrived at Plymouth Rock in 1621 aboard the Fortune. Hello my friends and welcome to a Gateway with a View. I'm with Ernie this evening and this is my therapy. That was the intro to Saddlebag 73 uh, videos. He's a Cornwall motorcycle vlogger that introduced me to the other four channels you'll see on t today's video. One of his trademark videos is the Gateways with a View. Frequently he's aboard his Royal Enfield Classic 500 or his Royal Enfield Himalayan. He has names for all his bike. His Royal Enfield Classic 500 he calls Ernie and his Himalayan he calls the witch. His green lane trips are spectacular as are the trips down the Trans Euro Trail in Cornwall and his attempts to get in riding up the Angel Steps which is kind of interesting. His road rides used to be, I like to say a lot of them on his 2018 Kawasaki Z900RS which he called Nikita but now I believe he sold that and is, I think he's doing his road rides only on the Pan-European ST-1100. 1100 is called the Dreadnought. His midweek mutterings and riding style are both interesting and soothing to the soul. I think you'll enjoy Saddlebags 73. The second one I'm going to talk about is in this, this group is from North Devon. And I uh, stumbled upon him after uh, going through Saddlebags uh, 73, and he's called Epic Adam Moto Vlogs. Epic Adam is probably the youngest of of all all of these moto vloggers, as far as I can tell, and uh, he's got his unique style. And I'll kind of show you what I mean by unique style. It recently bought a Honda C C90, and it was a highly modified C90. So that kind of gives you a take on where he's at. I think I also, when I first started watching him, he was riding a Suzuki Bandit 600 or pushing it uh, most of the time. But uh, he traded that off for a, uh, a Phaser 600. He's into camping and maintenance and reviewing products he takes trips he tells you go through the licensing process he's got a thing on how to's and he also owns a, a roll in field himalayan and you're going to see that goes across a lot of these guys but uh, he's he's uh he's younger and uh full of juice and he's pretty fun to watch and uh, i think you'll enjoy watching Epic Adam Motovlogs. The third biker in this uh, Motovlogger in this group is called New Biker. New Biker is 
probably started riding in his mid 40s probably i'd say late 40s maybe early 50s now the new biker is uh it's a little bit different than the other folks that he uses his bike and he lives uh, to commute and he lives in or around london so one of the very unique things he does and i'll get more into that later is it commutes into london new biker has two motorcycles he has a 2018 kawasaki z1000 xsx i believe he calls frankie and he has a also has a himalayan there you go and i think it's Wayneita or something like that i'm not real sure there's two things he does that's besides unusual in this commute is he rides and commutes all year long day and night wet dry cold hot he commutes then one of the other things he does he has a he has a series where he does a run, running commentary as he's commuting what he's thinking but he's really really patient and really really cool in what you need to do when you're commuting into london he does um he gets out in the weekends and does weekend rides and does do does some twisty roads and things like that and he goes to events takes you to events he does basic motorcycle maintenance and upgrades on his bikes he does some product reviews on things that he buys he's just a very unusual cat that can handle and do the commute into london i gotta meet this guy the fourth channel in this video is hippodromes he is located uh, in west suffolk somewhere near the gatwick airport hippodromes is a real character in this group he reminds me a little of the joe pesci character leo gets in lethal weapon one of my favorites Leo would always say, yep, okay, 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 okay. Well, Hippodrome uses, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, a beautiful uh, rural countryside. When he gets excited. As far as I can tell, he has at least four motorcycles, maybe five. It's kind of tough. Uh, I've been watching it uh, and seeing him going in and out. So I know he has a highly modified uh, 20. 12 Moto Guzzi V7. He has a uh, 2017 Suzuki GSXR 750, which he misbehaves on those quite a bit. <laughs> and he has a 2020 Beta 390RR Dual Sport. And I know he has a 2022, I call them Toll Rags 660s. And uh, and I think he probably has a 1984 CB100. He is also on his channel. If you watch some of his channel, he's he's had a um, Moto Guzzi uh, V85 TT, uh, Triumph Street Triple 765R, some sort of another Beta motorcycle, and a KTM 390 Duke. Hippo Drone has done a lot of uh, he does a lot of off roading and green laning. He does camping, and I don't know how he, his back can stand it, but I think he does it with a lot of beer. He's done uh, adventure bike rider festivals and uh, other kind of events. He goes to shows. He does motorcycle live. He does track days, and he's really pretty fast. He does mods on the bike right out there in a, on the concrete in the summertime when it's boiling hot. He gets bike reviews when he does demo rides. So he has crammed a lot of riding on, off, and on the track and uh, event, uh, events and mods on eight different motorcycles in less than six years on YouTube and almost 500 videos. Hippo Drones is definitely worth a, worth a view. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fifth and final rider in this mighty group has the most subscribers in his just under four years. Exeter Rider, I'm assuming, is located in the town of Exeter, close to Epic Adam and Saddlebag 73. Of the 
group of five, the x Rider does a lot more testing and reviews than most. At least 14 brands, from the Monkey to the BMW R1800. He is probably the expert on the Senus and Vogue models in the UK. When he tests these bikes and takes them out for review, he tests them out in the environment they were designed to, whether it is off-road, off on the trail, green lanes, on the road, or both. He also does live shows and adventures. He doesn't just, when he does his test and reviews, it's not just concentrating on, you don't get this just the spec type of thing. Uh, he rides the bikes. He's, uh, he gets a feeling for the bikes whether he likes them or not, much like you or I would. He's not big on electronics, but he does appreciate their function. If you like the Mistendom Flyer, then you're going to love the Exeter Rider. He has two bikes that aren't what most people would call stylish, but I, I think they're really underrated bikes. He has a BMW R850R, and he has a Honda NC750X, which I think is really nice. So there you have it. Five five motorcycle vloggers all living in southern England, pretty close to each other, that I would like to hang out with for a couple days. All are very different personalities and have different riding abilities, but all are very much very interesting to watch. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.